Hello one and all again. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a number of videos here regards to uh, prepping and planning for a campaign of Mutant Gen Lab Alpha. And just to quickly qualify what I'm sort of going for here, it's not going to be the kind of thing where I would explain what happens in the sessions and all of that sort of business. This is more to deal with the practical side of what I have to do, the issues I face in preparing for the campaign, and kind of does give you a demonstration of starting to, trying to prepare for running a similar sort of campaign. <clears throat> with the thought processes, the psychology, and those sort of things that go along with it. So this is the beginning of that playlist. And then just to qualify the game itself, GenLab Alpha is part of a four-game Unity RPG world setting system. So the four games that are set in the same world, are, um, you've got the big one, Mutant Year Zero, you've, uh, and that's with mutants in a post-apocalyptic Earth setting. You've got Gen Lab Alpha, where you've got anthropomorphic animals, basically, you know, humanized characteristics that the players can bring to them, but then they have the animal instinct there as well, which needs to be portrayed both mechanically and RP. So there's a duality there, a conflict, if you like. You've you've got the Elysium one, which it's kind of spoilerific if players are watching, so I'm not going to explain it. But it's somewhere else. It's something else. Um, and then you've got the uh, the robot one, Mechatron, where you will get to play robots in a big robot city. You know, Bender and his buddies, uh, essentially. So <clears throat> this is looking at trying to run Gen Lab Alpha, and uh, how that fits in, and why it fits in, and why I was maybe trying to look at picking that, and and the whole. Th thought process in on everything. So this is kind of the kind of thing we're going to be covering in these videos. So the next one I'm going to basically explain my reasoning for picking it and then we'll move on to some of the steps I've been making in preparing for the campaign. So you can follow out of curiosity as a GM yourself maybe give any ideas of how you might do things as well. And there we are, something maybe a little bit different, preparing for the campaign. Uh, see you at the next video.